Hi, I'm Alex Pertica. I'm the Associate Program Leader for Advanced Concepts and Technologies within our Space Science and Security Program. I've been at the lab for 30 years, working in technologies such as missile defense, remote sensing, and also space. Our monolithics telescope development process was a team effort. The concept for the monolithic telescopes was invented by our outstanding optical engineer, Brian Bauman. And we have a small team of engineers and scientists who have taken that basic concept and implemented the space telescopes that uh, we have today. The technology for monolithic telescopes really arose out of a need to develop a telescope that would withstand the rigors of launch for a satellite. We initially developed a conventional Cassegrain telescope and when we shook it to the kinds of launch loads that satellites experience, we found that it was very difficult to have a telescope arrive in orbit and be in focus and be in alignment without the need for subsequent additional alignment on orbit, which we wanted to avoid because of the cost and the space and power requirements. So this idea of putting a telescope into a solid piece of glass really arose for robustness. We felt that by having both optical surfaces contained within the same piece of glass that we would be able to withstand those launch loads. What we didn't realize initially, but discovered as we developed these telescopes, is that the implementing in a single piece of glass also allowed us to dial up the extremeness of the optical prescription, that is the, the description of the surfaces. And what that in turn allowed us to do was to come up with designs that are far more compact than conventional telescopes. And so that means that the form factor fits into a much smaller satellite or a much smaller UAV than you would otherwise be able to do for an equivalent level of imaging performance. The telescopes that we've developed have been thoroughly tested in the lab, but we also wanted to test the telescopes in mission relevant environments. So we undertook a campaign to test the telescope in a, on an airborne uh, platform. We were lucky to get the NASA's WB-57 aircraft as a test platform flying from 50,000 feet. We collected images over uh, southeast Texas, obtained wonderful imagery from that campaign. And now recently, we've also launched a telescope on board a 3U CubeSat, and that telescope is now in orbit uh, at 505 kilometers altitude, and we have obtained with that telescope some pretty spectacular imagery of uh, various ground targets, and including, for example, the city of Rome. We see monolithic telescopes as being disruptive to both the nanosatellite Earth imaging market as well as the UAV market for industrial inspection for things like pipelines and facilities. The form factor of the telescope is much more compact than, in the con than a conventional telescope. And that means that for the same imaging performance, you can put it in a smaller satellite or you could put it in a smaller UAV. And size equals cost in, this, in both of these domains. So we see these telescopes proliferating for nanosatellite constellations, for all kinds of Earth imaging applications, and we see them proliferating in uh, professional UAVs. I'm not talking about the, the toys that people have and fly in other people's backyards. I'm talking about professional UAVs that people use for inspection, for news gathering, and those applications that require high resolution imaging from standoff distances.